Hi children, I'm here to read you a uh, Christmas story. I've got my Christmas puddings cooking in the background. Lovely warm fire to keep me toasty. I'm going to read you Cookie's Christmas Invention. Cookie was a maker in the Santa's workshop. Her parents were makers and her grandparents were makers and her great grandparents. Well, you get the picture. In fact, all the elves at the North Pole were given a special job that they weren't allowed to change. Making toys was a very important job, but Cookie just didn't seem to enjoy it as much as her friends did. She didn't want to make toys, she wanted to invent them. Cookie had loads of ideas involving exciting electronics, cool coding and marvellous mecha me mechanisms. She believed that children would love her toys, like the flying race car, or well, the bedroom tidying robot, and especially the child safe jetpack. But every time she showed them to the other elves, the chief elf officer, or CEO for short, said that it wasn't Cookie's job to invent things. A few days before Christmas, a commotion began in the loading department. The sleigh loading electronic device, or sled for short, was making a very strange noise. The sled is out of control, shouted Jingle in a panic. Toys flew all over the place as the conveyor belt got faster and faster. Turn it off before it breaks, shouted the CEO, but it was too late. The chaos stopped with an almighty clunk. The sled is completely jammed, said Popcorn. How will we load the presents onto the sleigh now? All the elves gasps, gasped. The loader elves tried to remove the blockage, but the jam was way too tight. The mechanical elves had to go, had to go at undoing the conveyor belt, but that made it worse. Then the maintenance elves arrived to see if they could cool the engine down, but it was no good. The sled was completely broken. We'll have to build a new one from scratch. It'll take us at least two weeks. But Christmas is in just two days, gasped Jingle. Panic swept across the workshop. Without the sled to load the sleigh, Santa would never be ready in time for Christmas Eve. I have an idea, said Cookie. Tinsel shook her head. Not now, Cookie, she said. This is a job for maintenance. Back in her room, Cookie worked through the night. She knew her idea would work if she could just get the others to listen. The next morning, Cookie took her plan to show the CEO. I'm sorry, Cookie, she said. You're a maker elf, so your job is to make the toys. Leave the maintenance team alone. I have an emergency meeting with Santa. Cookie threw the plan in the bin and went back to work feeling sad. If someone had been watching and knew exactly how great an inventor Cookie was. Santa needs to see this plan, thought Pudding, as he slipped the plan into the meeting room treats. That afternoon, the CEO came to the workshop. Who made this? She shouted, holding up Cookie's plan. Cookie was worried she might be in trouble, but raised her hand because elves always tell the truth. Santa thinks it's brilliant, said the CEO. We might just save Christmas. Cookie couldn't believe it. No one had ever said her inventions were good before, let alone Santa. So Cookie got to work on her plan. It took her all day, but elves love a challenge. When she finished, she went to show the others. I present you the lifter gift, said Cookie proudly. Instead of using the sled, these will carry the wrapped gifts to the sleigh. Wow, said the CEO. Plus, I made a few more of the, these robots to help us clear up the mess, said Cookie with a grin. I'm sorry, Cookie, said the CEO. I should have listened to you earlier. I can see now that ourselves may have lots of different skills outside of the jobs that we are given. Maybe we should encourage that more. The next day, the elves used the lifter gifts to work twice as fast as they'd ever done before. So fast, in fact, that Santa was ready to go with a few hours to spare. You're going the wrong way, said the CEO as Cookie headed back to the making department. We've got a brand new job for you. 
Cookie beamed as the CEO gave her a badge that said Chief Inventor. And so Cookie went to work using her skills to invent awesome new toys and machines. There were no more jams or breakdowns and the CEO changed the rules. From that day on, elves were no longer told what to do. Every elf was free to choose the job that brought them the most joy. Thank you for listening.